Hey there YouTubers, this is another video review for you here. This is on the Bravelli Icon Espresso Machine. And I'm just taking a look over it here. Um, Bravelli makes quite a different number of espresso machines as well as coffee machines. This particular model is the Icon. Um, it is all housed in nice brushed stainless steel. Um, and it's the type of stainless steel that doesn't show finger to prints too bad. So if you're worried about a lot of fingerprints, this machine isn't real bad about that. Now they do make some nice stainless steel wipes that are just basically mineral oil and stuff that's real easy to wipe down. Uh, taking a look and over a couple of the features, first let's take a look over here at the drip tray. Um, Bravelli has done a nice job with his drip tray. It's a nice large size drip tray for the size of machine that you're getting here. Just pull it right out. Also it's incorporated a full float. Um, the one thing though is by the time this thing gets full, it is so full that it's really difficult to make it to the sink or wherever you're going without dumping it on the floor. So I don't recommend letting it get to the full mark. You know, dump it before it gets even close to that. The next little neat thing, which is a nice little hidden tray way back there for your little accessories like your different uh, port filters that come with it, or um, port filter baskets, excuse me, or the little cleaning tool, and, and just whatever little goodies that you want to stuff back there. Next, looking at the buttons here, you've got three buttons. You've got an on button, you've got a brew button, and you've got a steam button. Uh, the brew feature on this is quite nice because it does start off with a small pre-infusion. So you push the button once, it pre-infuses the coffee, lets the coffee has it give it time to expand, and then it finishes the uh, f finishes the brew. Um, and now, if you don't want the pre-infusion, you just hold the button down and it just does it straight. The next button here is the steam one button. Um, there's a blinking light that turns on. We'll go ahead and turn the machine on. This blinks. It doesn't take very long for this machine to heat up. And then all three lights are lit up. And now this machine was heated prior to this video. That's why I did turn on so quick, but I'm saying about maybe 15-20 seconds, um, maybe 20 seconds for the machine to come up to heat. Now this is a non-boiler machine, it means it doesn't have a boiler in it. The way the water comes out hot is the water is cycled through the large 200 mil water tank, which is right in front here, and it's nice, up through this tube and across some elements in here and then comes out hot. So you don't have a brew boiler that is constantly heating water. Now the one, there, there's two, there's an advantage to that. One is um, it, it, the heat up time, the start up time for this is very quick. Um, so if you're in a hurry in the morning, you don't need to worry about a 45 minute uh, warm up time like some of the other commercial espresso machines. Now the drawback to that is the water coming out of here is not going to be quite as hot and not going to be quite as stable. Um, the water temperature that I have tested coming out of here is about 175. Um, that's quite a bit cooler than the recommended temperature about 202 which is good for espresso. Um, but I have been able to pull some pretty good shots with this um, if you do have a good grinder coupled with this. Coming over here, just taking a look. Here we go, get this to focus here is our steam wand valve to turn it on and off. And our steam wand. Now this looks like a panarillo here. What a panarillo is, is it's a device made for injecting air into your milk that you're frothing or whatever you're frothing. Um, instead of just the hot steam, so it's steam and air. This is actually not, this is just a sleeve that goes over here to help 
prevent burning. And this is your single hole tip steam wand, and I'm dripping water all over the place. And it is on a swivel, which is nice. You do have a nice range for it. A rubber grip here to keep from burning yourself. I found that if I've pulled this sleeve off, I do get a lot better microfoam. Next, taking the port filter holder off. You have an eject button to eject out your filters, which is nice. And the machine comes with two filters. Actually, it comes with three. I take that back. It comes with the standard double or single, and it says them on the bottom, double and single. And the way these work, these are actually double walled. So you have a dispersion screen here. You have a wall in between, and then all of it comes out this one little hole here. So you do get quite a bit of crema, but it is actually fake looking, uh, or a fake crema, excuse me. Um, it's not true crema. So the thing that you can do is get on Seattle Coffee Gear's website and they make a replacement portafilter filter for a double that is a single walled. So you will actually get better tasting shots. But back to what it comes with. It comes with a double, it comes with a single, and it actually comes with a pod holder. I've never used the pods on this machine, um, but if you're into convenience, don't have a grinder, um, you might try using the pod. Otherwise, you can buy pre-ground beans, which are probably still going to end up being better uh, than the, the pods. But I had went ahead and bought this one. This is actually not the one that they sell on uh, the Seattle Coffee Gear website. Um, this is a different one. This is made for a different machine, but it actually does work quite well. Um, the volume on it is going to be a little bit less than a double shot, but it still does produce pretty good shots. So let me go ahead and put the video on pause, and I will show you how uh, what a shot looks like out of this okay, machine. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, I have ground my coffee and properly tamped it. I'm going to go ahead and lock the pour filter in. And we'll go ahead and start the infusion. Uh, one of the keys with this machine is first off a good tamp. It's going to be actually a little bit less, actually quite a bit less than you would with a typical espresso machine. And the next thing is uh, getting the grind right and having a good grinder. So you can hear the pre-infusion. It's got a 15 bar pump. I know a lot of people, a lot of coffee purists will say that's going to be too quick of a shot. Also, there's not a ton of crema on top, um, but the flavor is halfway decent. It's not bitter. It's not sour. Um, too much tamp on this machine, you will get more crema, but you'll end up having it be bitter because the temperature is a bit less than a typical espresso machine should be. Uh, one way to help that a bit is to actually put heated water in your tank that you're dispensing it from. The other thing with this machine is it does not have a three-way solenoid valve which means it turns off the water to the group head uh, immediately after brewing so you do get it to drip a little bit um, and the pucks will be tend to be a little bit mushy and uh, kind of watery and soupy so it does make a little bit more of a mess um, but the flavor of the shot that I just pulled is, is is going to be okay. It's not superb, um, but for the machine that you're getting, for the price tag on this machine, it's, I believe it's around a $200 machine, um, it does a not bad job at all. One of the things with the steam wand over here <clears throat> is you do have to make sure you purge it with the, when you turn it on first before you start steaming your milk. There's quite a bit of water in the line, so you have to purge all the water out. 
um, and then you can proceed on to steaming your milk and it does a very good job of steaming um, steams pretty quick and it does a pretty good job of making microfoam so here once again we've got the Brevelli Icon uh, 15 bar stainless steel steam boiler uh, dual wall crema system with the uh, porta filters and is designed in Australia. If you have any questions or comments, just give me a buzz.